1946 and 1968, the Searle effect was referred to as magnetic bubbles in motion, as Searle's early newsletter stated. In 1968, it became obvious that these magnetic bubbles included particles in a predictable manner and that the number of bubbles present in the material followed a predictable pattern. As a result of this discovery, Searle rejected the term magnetic bubbles in favor of magnetic quantum material and published the specifics in a newsletter that was later reprinted in one of Searle's books. Additionally, a laboratory examination confirms that the material changes its state in some way when created in this method. When the rollers are brought into close proximity to the SEG plate, the machine's resonant magnetic field attracts and accelerates electrons. This process is aided by the neodymium layer's strong electron attracting or capturing effect. The SEG's unique mechanical and material configuration pulses the neodymium, releasing and replacing extra electrons that provide mechanical and electrical power. The demonstration is shown in the video embedded below. Apart from its groundbreaking work on free energy generators and electric motors, Searle invented the inverse gravity vehicle, IGV. The IGV, which is powered by SEG technology, is a craft capable of lifting and defining gravity. It is a flying machine that receives and transforms energy from its surrounding environment as it travels through the air. And it's curving this way and curving this way. It's like a... It's like a tetrahelix, right?